So to remove the Bing search, which is right here, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on privacy and security on the left. And then we're going to click on search permissions. Once you're on this, you want to make sure that Microsoft account is turned off. Work or school account is also turned off. And then you want to scroll down more. And then you want to turn off show search highlights, turn that off. And then we're going to click on Windows privacy options. You want to make sure that everything here as well is also turned off. Now, once you're on Microsoft Edge, to remove this Bing search right here, Microsoft Bing search, we're going to click on the three dots and then click on settings. Once you're on it, we're going to click on privacy search and services. And then we're going to scroll down until we find address bar and search. Click on that. Once you're on it, you can change your search engine using the address bar to Google or anything else that comes up here. So now to remove this Bing chat logo right here, we're going to head over to search and then type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Once you're on it, you can follow everything I'll be doing right up here. So first I'm going to expand HK local machine. Then I'm going to expand software. Then I'm going to scroll down and expand policies. And then I'm going to find the Microsoft folder right here. You want to right click on it and then click on new and then click on key. Now we're going to rename the new key to edge and click on enter. Once we do that, we're going to open up the edge folder and then we're going to be here. We're going to right click and then click on new and then we're going to click on D word 32 bit value. And then we're going to type in hub sidebar enabled. Type it with the capitals just like how I did. Once you do that, click on enter. Once you create this, we're going to double click on it and then you want to make sure that the value data says zero on it and then click on OK. Now we're going to head back to edge. We're going to type in edge colon forward slash forward slash policy and click on enter. Once you're on this, we're going to click on reload policies. Once you do that, then the edge icon will have disappeared from the top. 